many years ago we scored this very nice uh, wire nest box, very long, um, but it's made to collect eggs from the front and that didn't work for us so we cut openings in the back and um, as you can see it's hard to get those little bitty see the little bitty tips of those wires sticking up well when we only had enough chickens for our uh, just our personal egg use you'd have to reach your hand in there once a day in each one of those cages really not all of the cages and now that we got 70 something laying hens and getting 60 something eggs a day our arms are having to go through those holes multiple times a day and when you do that you tend to get complacent and and here's what let me get out in the sun so you can see this is what results I hope you can see that I've just scratched myself all the pieces going in and out of those cages so I thought about I thought I had a piece of PVC pipe up in the loft of the barn and I was gonna cut little pieces of PVC pipe and slid them down the side and put them over there. Couldn't find it, but my, my pal uh, Jared Stanley at J&J &J Acres uh, mentioned water hose. Well, I had plenty of water hose laying around all over the place, so I, I cut a section of old water hose and, and then cut sections to fit the width of those openings and then slid it so that I can slip it over the wires. I hope y'all can hear me for these doggone chickens clucking. They get upset when we come out here and interrupt their, uh, their day. So now, the little dangerous edges are covered and we can gather eggs unscathed. Now I gotta go find some Neosporin to coat my R. Anyway, thanks Jared. Y'all check out J&J &J Acres on uh, YouTube for some more useful tips and to see what they're doing on their homestead. See ya.